Lighting good. Oh, it's dark. Oh, y'all can't even see me. Hold up. I got you. Oh, it's bright. All right, now that I got that thumbnail out of the way, Riverdale finally came back. I'm so excited. Now, first things first, they basically had Alice tell the story of G and G. They had the children from all of the main characters, or the parents from all the main characters get played by the children, which is pretty dope. Archie's dad was pretty, he's pretty much the same. FP was actually even a little bit more mysterious. Betty's mom is the polar opposite of Betty. Like, you see Betty and then you see her mom and you're just like, wow. That's your mom. Your mom really like cleaned up her act for you. Veronica's mom was like a church girl, like super churchy. Like something happened in the show. I'm trying not to spoil it because it was good, but you know what? Nah, I'm spoiling it. If y'all didn't watch it, y'all missed out. I'm about to spoil it crazy. They're playing G and G, and essentially they all got detention because everybody did something that landed them in the. So Betty's Betty's mom was out without a hall pass. Veronica's mom was out without a hall pass too. And then the hall monitor, who is Cheryl's mom, got in a fight with Betty's mom and they got it shaken. And they ended up in detention. FP got dared by all the other jocks to streak down the, the hallway butt ass naked. And then uh, Archie's dad said, yeah, I'll join you. Why not? Cause you know, the tennis team had me do it. Whatever. Who was the last person to get detention? Uh, Josie's mom. She got detention too because she was inside the bathroom when everybody was cutting. So it is what it is. First thing that I want to say about that is that it kind of it, it brought everybody together in a in a creative way. It was like, all right, how did the six of you guys even get the chance to know each other? And then they brought that in. It was like, okay, actually a good story. Now they all hated each other. They were always arguing, but then eventually you put a bunch of kids in a room for long enough, they'll start to be friends. It's just it's natural. It's gonna happen. The first thing that happened was that Betty's mom. Not Betty, I'm sorry. Veronica's mom and Cheryl's mom, they got an argument because Cheryl was the, no, not Cheryl, sorry. Not Cheryl. Cheryl's mom was like destined to get adopted by a family and then marry into the family. It was gross because I'm like, that's like your brother, whatever. Cameo from the first dude that died in season one. He was in there for like five minutes. They end up like finding the game because, oh, by the way, Veronica's mom was a pretty badass chick back in high school. Like she decided that she was gonna break into the drawer that the teacher took all their stuff and she said that the teacher took her game pack. I don't know how young I am in relation to this show, but I don't know what a game pack is. As a matter of fact, I should probably Google that. Wow, that's old. So, she says she wants to get the game pack out of the drawer, and then as she gets it, they find this game called, uh, Gar, Gar something in Gargoyles? I should probably know the name of it being Mr. Riverdale, but I'm not gonna lie, I just know it is G&G &G at this point. So they find it and they decide they're gonna play it. Now they're playing it every week that they're there. It's Saturday detention, so they're trying to keep occupied. They're supposed to do a 1,000 word essay. I graduated college twice. I don't like doing essays. A thousand words in one day, you can kiss me. Get addicted to the game, it's more and more fun. Every time they play it, they decide they wanna keep it going. So they decide they're gonna take it out of the, of the board and then they decide they're gonna make it real. And that's when we find out why the the six of them or all of the everybody that was involved decides we're gonna take this to the grave because somebody died i don't want to spoil who died but we never find out who killed that person by the time the episode ends you have a better understanding of why the game is so silenced by the parents but now it makes us want to know more like okay so all of you were playing but nobody knows who the Gargoyle King was from that point till now. I guess that's kind of my review. It was pretty dope. I think they did a good job. Everyone did it. It was good to see everybody act a little different. Like I'm not used to seeing Betty so edgy. It was almost weird. It was like, wait, you serious? But then it's like, oh, you're playing Alice, All right? So it gets a pass. Archie and his dad are like one and the same to be perfectly honest with you. I think everybody and their parents are like kind of parallel except Veronica. Oh my God. Veronica's mom now is like smoking hot. And back in high school, she was like the total nerd. So how did Hiram get that? No, seriously, like there's hope for us nerds. Like Hiram got her and she looks like that now. So it's just like, I don't know, something to take note of. Wait, but if you guys enjoy, if you like the commentary, if you like my review, you know, thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to drop your thoughts about what you thought the episode was like or what you wish they did do or didn't do, drop that in the comments too. I interact with y'all. I don't, you know, take forever to respond. If I have, I do apologize sincerely because my text back game is terrible. For all, that's my thoughts on 
Riverdale's coming back after the two-week hiatus. Don't ever do that to me again, please. For my life. Like, what was I supposed to do? When y'all watch Sabrina. Check that show out. It's pretty good as well. Thank you for all the love. I appreciate y'all. Deuces.